Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which provides hundreds of copy and paste code snippets for Squarespace website designers to use on their clients' websites. Today we are looking at how to add different options in your Squarespace shop. So if you look at this product I have here, on the side I have this drop down box where my customers can choose a different size plant. So for instance, they can choose a large plant. And you'll notice when they've made that option, the price is automatically adjusted for that size. Um, and this is in Squarespace, we call this a product variant. So if you want different options for your customers to choose from, and for those options to automatically adjust the price, then you want to add a product variant to your products. In order to do that, you're going to go to pages, go to your shop, and choose the product that you want to change. We're going to edit. And if you scroll down, you'll see a section called variants. So we're going to click add. And in here, you can add up to six options. So right now we can have color, maybe they're changing the color of the pot it comes in or something. So we have navy, white, black, Etc. Now in order to have it go, I used a comma. So you're going to separate it by commas in order for them to each come up as a separate entity. And those will be three different options in the drop down box. If I want another option, so maybe I can do size. I can add another option. If I don't want one of the options they've suggested, like material, I can choose custom and then type in my own option here. And maybe I'm choosing a type, maybe I want indoor versus outdoor, for instance. Okay. Once you've added all of the options that you want people to choose from, you're going to click save. And then we want to edit them. So we're going to click here to edit all. And you'll notice based on the different options we've put in, it's created all of these different combinations. So we actually have 18 different combinations between those three options. And you can go in and delete the ones that don't make sense. So maybe there's not an indoor small navy plant and so I can delete that variant out. You can also change the SKU number. Squarespace automatically makes one, but if you have your own inventory system, then you might want to change that number there. You can put in how many units you have available um, and the price. Okay, so maybe this price is um, $20 um, and an indoor small white is 15 and an indoor small black is 10, let's say. Okay, so you can go through and do those. You can also set a sale price if you ever want it to go on sale and um, go by the shipping. So in your commerce section, you can set up your different shipping options, whether you want the shipping to be done by weight or distance, um, and then you can set that in. If it's done by weight or size, you put in the size and the weight here and it will automatically calculate the shipping based on what you set up in your commerce section. So you're just gonna go through and do all of those. You can also add an image that matches this particular variation. So if you have an image of your small indoor navy plant, you're gonna upload that image here. So when they select those options, that image automatically pops up. And once you've added all of those, you can save. And now when I go into this plant, I'll see my three different options I typed in. So indoor, small, navy, and it'll automatically update to the price and it will update the image as well. And then they can add it to their cart. Now again, like I said, Squarespace only allows for six different options and it creates up to 250 different combinations from those six options. If you have more than that, or you want people to type in something, let's say you're selling t-shirts and you want them to type in what they want on the shirt, 
that sort of thing. You can use a form to do that. So if you have less than six options and those options determine the price, then you're going to use variance. If you have more than six options, I would use a combination of variance and the form. So for example, I could say um, three customizations. They're gonna choose three customizations is this price. And then you can use a form to have them put in what three customizations they would like. The benefit to that is you can have as many options as you want. Um, you can still have it update price based on those customizations. But the con to that is you're then relying on them to put in three customizations, let's say. And if they put in four, you're going to have to contact them and figure out um, which combination they want or if they want to pay for that fourth customization. So there's a little bit of back and forth that might happen based on how you set up your form. But let's say I want um, them to be able to put in a greeting, a custom greeting message, for instance. Um, what I would do is go into edit the product and at the bottom instead of variants we're going to use a custom form you can create a new form the first thing you want to do is name the form something that makes sense to you this is going to be the subject line and so you want to differentiate this from other forms so I can say Lily product form or something like that I would also have them put in their name and make it required. I would have them put in a phone number or an email. And that way, if there is a mistake, you can get back to them um, and fix up their, their form, make sure you have their order correct. And then you're gonna add in the different options that you want. If you want them to only choose one out of a series of options, I would use a radio button or a drop down button um, because they can only choose one. If you want them to be able to choose multiple, you would choose a checkbox. Um, or if it's open ended, you can choose like a text area. So I could say custom greeting message. I would then in the descriptions um, describe a little bit more what you like. and possibly even do an example. Just to make sure that they're really understanding exactly what you want them to put into that section. And then once you're done, you're gonna click Save. Make sure that that one is selected and click Apply. Now they can choose their type, so they can choose that they want an indoor, small, navy colored plant. And when they add to cart, that form is going to pop up for them to put in their information. So again, if you have options you want your customers to choose from, you have kind of two ways to do that. The first, if you want the options they choose to change the price and you have less than six different options, 250 different variation combinations, then you're going to use product variants. If you have more than that or you want them to be able to type something in, um, then you're going to use a custom form. If you liked this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, or if you are on my website, make sure that you sign up for the freebie in my footer so you can be notified when another tutorial is posted. Until then, that is how you add options to your products in Squarespace.